Hey everyone, Leanne here from Kingdom Blogger. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to increase your affiliate commissions with YouTube. So if you haven't started a YouTube channel yet for your Christian blog ministry, you're really kind of behind the curve. And you probably want to get on that as soon as possible. Why? Because video is where the future of blogging is. We still want to have written content for Google searches and things like that. But video, um, content being delivered through video is the number one way people consume content right now. And so not only is it the number one way, but it also provides you an additional way to reach your target audience. So your blog coming from Google and other search engines and YouTube can reach a whole entire audience that you may not reach through regular blog content. And the great thing is you can uh, merge them together to where they're sending each other traffic. But when it comes to you know your affiliate marketing strategy, you definitely want to look at the whole picture of you. You should have a plan for YouTube. Don't just get in there and be like, oh, what video am I going to make today? Just like with your blog, you should have a content plan. It is based on sound research of your, your, excuse me, your target audience and the things they are searching for in video format. When it comes to affiliate marketing, the great thing is in the description of your YouTube video down underneath, you are able to put affiliate links. Of course, you need to put your disclaimer and all of that stuff in there. But as soon as you publish the video, those links are clickable. Now, once you've reached YouTube monetization, which is 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 public viewing hours, you get additional kind of features that you can do with your videos. And one of those is to put the info boxes or info card, I think is what it's called, right there in the video. So when you're talking about something, you can put a little thing that pops up like right here and it's clickable. Right now, the only thing you can use on the info cards are other videos that you've already created in your YouTube channel. But once you've reached that YouTube monetization level, you can put those links to affiliate products that you're talking about right there as well. So just like I mentioned with social media, so, okay, let me back up. So there's two kinds of videos, I would say. There are videos where you're literally promoting a product and this could be um i guess maybe three types of videos so one would be your review you're doing a review of a product sometimes we call it um, in the youtube world in keyword search it's also called an unboxing and you've probably seen those where you know they they're literally videoing themselves when the package arrives and they open it up and they're showing everything that's in it and talking about it and whatever those are hugely popular. So whether you are a Bible study blogger, like strictly Bible studies, that's all you do. But more importantly, if you're beyond that, like Christian women, college age girls, um, reaching college age women, um, young adults, or maybe you're a Christian mom blogger, you're going to have content beyond just the Bible stuff. And your audience would appreciate you talking about other things that help them in their season. Like their season is not always just about how to read the Bible. There's other things that the mom would be wanting help with or tips for or hacks and ideas. And through these videos where you're talking about certain products you've used to address a certain pain point, and they've built that rapport with you by following you and you know engaging with your videos, they're much more likely to click that link and buy it because they trust that you're, you are giving them a good recommendation. So number one would be your unboxing slash review videos. Review videos are probably easier to rank than review type blog posts. So in Google, there's a lot of updates recently that make it harder and harder to do like book reviews uh, and actually get them ranking on page one, unless literally your entire site is about book reviews. On Amazon, I'm sorry, on YouTube, it can actually be quite a bit easier, especially if you find some of the lesser reviewed products, okay? And so, you know, just think about the things that you have ordered yourself, whether it's for your Bible study stuff, um, maybe you have a subscription box or um, a certain toy, you know, something that your kids play with, or I actually, and I totally, I didn't have my YouTube channel set up at the time, but I'm wishing... I had got, an, um, you can't see it here, but I have one of those lift desks. So it just sits on top of my desk, but I have back issues. And so I got this really cool contraption and set it up. So now when my back is hurting, instead of sitting, I can just lift and the whole desk comes up. I wish I had done a video review of that because I've had a lot of people reach out to me with chronic illness that, you know, wonder how I'm able to sit here all day. So maybe I will go do a review on this since I do have it. It'll be a review, not an unboxing because obviously I've already opened the box. Um, 
anything, anything that you use in the course of your life that could also help your reader, especially if your avatar is you, you can do review videos for them. So the next way that we can do videos that really will encourage the reader without making them think, oh, she just promoting stuff again. Again, remember, YouTube is a search engine. So in order for them to find your video, they had to be searching for what the video is about, whether it's the product itself, or maybe they're looking for help with something. So the pain point, doing SEO keyword research in YouTube is paramount. It is crucial for you to be successful with this, just like it is with your blog content. So the pain point post, that's a lot of P's in one sentence, um, addressing, you know, how to study the Bible every day, how to, you know, ways to entertain your kids on a rainy day. All these things might be something, um, cr preschool craft activities, right? These are all keywords that could be YouTubed, we say Googled, if we're looking on Google or YouTube, we'll just add a D on the end of it, YouTube, do a YouTube search for. And so when you're showing them like, here's some, you know, it's my, you know, we had a lot of rain here in the rainy season. And so, you know, there could be a week or two that we can't go outside. So how do I keep the kids busy? And then show what products you have used to entertain your kids, right? Um, you can blur out your children's faces. There's really good editing software that enables you to do that. But there is value in showing your audience how that product is going to solve their problem. Don't just say, hey, I got this thing. You should really check it out. Buy it, buy it, buy it. That's never going to work. And that's the great thing about YouTube is you can get on here, be more you, more natural, but actually show in action the product you're using, you know, for a Bible study um, you know, doing a review of the life application study Bible, you know, you're showing how you're reading through and how it has the things at the bottom and all the extra, um, notes at the beginning of, of each book, all the historical stuff. You can show all that in the video and compare it to a regular Bible, which just has the verses and show how you're able to do that. Um, you know, I, I use my devotionals a lot. And so reading from them and just talking about maybe the five best devotionals that you use um, to spend time in the word every day. And then you can talk about all five of them while you're on that same video and then put the links down in the bottom. And that me doing this is very important because in YouTube, you want to let them know this thing I'm talking about. Hey, by the way, if you want to check it out, like and try it with your own kids or, you know, if you want to, if you're, if you need a new devotion, you want to check this one out. It's really great. I put the links to it below. Um, of course you have to have your affiliate disclaimer and all that stuff in there, but you're telling them, Hey, the link is below. Be sure to check it out, right? Let them know that the thing you're talking about, if they want it, they can literally click that link and go find it. And so YouTube is definitely what I would call a goldmine opportunity for really getting those Amazon, not just Amazon, but any affiliate link to convert to a sale. Because again, YouTube is a search engine. So in order for them to find your content, it's because they were looking for it. So if they're looking for it, they're going to be more inclined to purchase it, right? It's like basic math. One plus one is two. I'm looking for it. You gave me it. I'm probably going to buy it. And so, again, you have to do the keyword research. I can't stress it enough. YouTube keyword research is much easier than blog content research. Um, just, I don't know why, just because it is much easier. And so that's what you want to start doing now, you know, if you, like I said before, if you have not started your YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? I do have a link below. See, I did that. Um, that shows you kind of the steps to get your YouTube channel set up, um, how to use TubeBuddy to do keyword research and all of that. And so be sure to check that out. Also be sure to join my Facebook group. That link is below as well. And that way, if you need help along the way of getting your setup, um, you can come over to a Facebook group and ask questions. Um, and just start making those videos. And honestly, I have a lot of people in, in my little community that you know, have been blogging for a while. And truth is, blogging is exhausting, right? You have to do all the research. And then Google does a thing. And then everything's you know, out the door. It can be exhausting because you have to stick to a format, right, in order for Google to understand it. Video is so much more freeing because, yes, you have the concept of the query that you're focused on. But when you're delivering it, you know, in a written form, it has to be formatted and proper spelling and all this stuff. But here you see me, I'm just like, I look like a crazy one with my hands all over the place because that's my personality. 
And so it's a lot more freeing. It's also a lot more fun. Yes, when you first start doing it, it would be a lot more scary. But once you get past that fear factor and start doing it, you'll probably be able to get much more accomplished through your video channel, through YouTube um, on a weekly basis as far as publishing new content than publishing new blog posts. So anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any questions about affiliate marketing on YouTube, please drop your questions below. Um, be sure to like this video and follow us here at Kingdom Bloggers if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.